to the fourth episode of the Cat Kim Show, the Turkey Day Special, and we're going to talk about something a little bit different than we talked about before. If you remember way back when, we talked about photovoltaic cells, and now we're going to start getting into DC-DC converters, which are a really important part of power electronics. So, DC-DC converters convert power from one voltage to another. These are often used in handheld applications that need power from a battery. And the two topologies we'll work with today are the buck converter, a step down, so it brings a higher voltage to a lower output voltage, and the boost converter, or the step up, which brings a lower voltage to a higher voltage. Now these can generally be considered um, to be lossless, so we can consider them to be ideal, meaning that they do not lose power, and therefore P equals IV must be conserved. So when we look at the input to output of the buck, we see that the voltage decreases, and because the power is conserved, we know that the current must increase. So that means the current coming in here, when the current goes, the current coming out of the output will actually be higher than the input, which is a little counterintuitive, but remember that power must be conserved. So in all these types of converters, there's two really important components that we need to learn more about, the capacitor and the inductor. A basic analogy for a capacitor is to think of it as a bucket of water. So the water level can be thought of as a voltage, and the current can be thought of as the water going into the bucket or out of it. So say we put water into the bucket, like putting current into a capacitor, we'd see that the water level would rise, which is equivalent to the voltage level increasing. And the same thing happens if we take water out of the bucket or current out of the capacitor, the water level will lower, and the voltage will lower. So this can be rewritten in equation form as I equals C to V dt, and this is the governing equation for a capacitor. It can also be rewritten in an integral form, and think of this as the total amount of current that you put into the capacitor times the 1 over C con uh, factor is equal to the voltage level that it's at. Another aspect of the capacitor we have to think about is its capacitance, which is rep represented here by C. And a really large capacitance is like a really large bucket. So putting the same amount of current in will not increase the voltage quite as much. And a small capacitance is just the opposite. It's a smaller bucket, so putting the same amount of current in will increase the voltage more than the larger one. So we can think of a capacitor as a bucket of water where the capacitance depends on the size of the bucket. So we have another analogy for the inductor. It's not quite perfect, but it gets the point across. So think of it as a dam that's holding back water, and the water flowing through at the bottom is analogous to the current through the inductor. And there's a door controlling the flow of water, and that is controlled like a garage door by a remote control. So say that Valerie is controlling this remote, and there's two buttons on it. It has a positive voltage button and a negative voltage button. And when she presses the positive voltage button, like putting a positive voltage across the inductor, the garage door will open more, and more current will be able to flow out. So the current increases. And just the opposite, if she presses the negative voltage button, the garage door will close, and less current will be able to flow out of the dam. And through the inductor. So this basic governing equation can be written as V equals L di dt, or as an integral as 1 over L is multiplied by the integral of the voltage is equal to the current. And again we have to think about the inductance, so denoted here by L, and a little bit backwards from the other analogy, if we have a really large inductor, it's like cutting the garage door in half. So the same amount of voltage when you push the button and make the door go up, it actually has, it doesn't change the current as much. It has a lower, lesser effect on the current. And if the inductor is really low value, it's like having a really large door. So when you make the door go up just a little bit, it has a large change in the current. So we've learned about DC-DC converters, which take power from one voltage level to another. We'll talk more about topologies in the future. We've also learned about two important components used in power electronics, the capacitor and the inductor. These are the circuit symbols for each component, and these are the governing equations that we talked about. 
So remember our analogies of the bucket of water and the dam with the remote control door. Uh, and hopefully that will help you in your understanding. I'll leave it here for now, but I'll look forward to another episode in the future. So bye for now. Woo! Happy Turkey Day!